Well, <laughs> while I remain eternally optimistic that you will, pardon the pun, see the light um, on what it is that Umbra, Penumbra, and for the advanced classes, Antumbra, maybe I should have done this the first time and you would have uh, a little bit more understood exactly what that diagram is trying to tell you. The, uh, the long and short of it is, uh, the lines that you say are, uh, light that doesn't crisscross. Well, if we bring it down, we can show you, real simply, what those lines on that diagram are trying to tell you. They're trying to tell you that this is the angle from which you can see the bottom, or one extreme, of the light. Then, you can see it from the other side as well. Um... And then additionally, where the umbra actually takes place, where the, the top and the bottom of the light source intersect, everything between that point and the object is the darkest part of the shadow, called the umbra. The other thing that I, I, I can hear you saying it right now, watching this, I know, you, I know you're saying it, oh, but that's 2D and that has nothing to do with the sun and that has nothing to do with... Listen what you need to know is this is happening in three dimensions uh, very simply um, and here I'll go ahead and put the lines up it's not just happening horizontally it's happening vertically it's happening all the way around okay this is this is not rocket science man <laughs> and uh, yeah uh, I don't know what else to tell you man it's 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 not that difficult If you want to talk about the the sun being uh well let's see what are what are what are all the distances i've heard on the flat earth sun flat earth sun is supposed to be uh 25,000 miles away uh then there's also the 10,000 the 9,000 the 5,000 the 3,000 and somewhere around two or three miles in the clouds and all of those seem to have something to do with a, a sun that's somewhere smaller than 37 miles across, something like that. Um, yeah, first you have to have your, your data correct before you can start making assumptions on how things work. One hundred and six miles to Chicago. We got a full tank of gas, half a pack of cigarettes. It's dark, and we're wearing sunglasses. Hit it. We interrupt this program to annoy you and make things generally irritating. <laughs> Over-stuffed, ignorant, foot-sucking, dog-kissing, brainless, hopeless, 
Okay, you have a great day.